Okay, so there's a there's a trigger warning attached to this. Attached to this. This video may contain topics about self harm and other related things. Um, now I tell you, I was warned of this. I don't know anything about it except for that trigger warning. That's what I know. So my intention here, so that I can actually be a, a, a normal human and not a blithering mess based on my own experiences is to view this as a director. I love this song. I love what Sugar did for the entire album. So I'm going to put on my director's monocle and I'm going to watch this in a relatively disconnected fashion. Captions are on, amygdala. I'm really excited about this, but I'm a little nervous. All right, is everybody ready? Cheers.
Whew. That was pretty good. Wow. So I'll tell you from a from a, from a cinematography point of view it's flawless. It's flawless. Down to the details of Where is it? This crawl that happens. This isn't just a shot that says, like this isn't just a spinning shot to make it creative. This is a shot that's telling you this battle is uphill and it just gets harder and harder. That's exactly what that says. And all these fast cuts, like, first of all, this door, I mean, it's, it's obvious. This choice to sit up and move forward. This is the part that got me. Ugh. This, this going back and trying to like save himself in a way. And this is how friggin' brilliant Jungi is. And we talked about this in the D-Day listen of Amygdala, where it was just music. You can hear remnants of Shadow when he sang Amygdala, because the distortion is on and it sounds like he's peaking the top of the speaker. It sounds distorted. And the reason for that is because he wants you to feel like he can't scream any louder. If you push a microphone and you turn those speakers all the way up and you just start screaming, there comes a point where it can't get any louder. It just gets more distorted. And that's exactly what he's representing when he's screaming this. You know, this room, even this set, there's one way out. And everything else is darkness as far as the eye can see. There's no walls, there's no ceiling. It's, it, what is it? It's, 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 it's in one of the lyrics that he says, the window, the window looks up to the sky or something like that in one of the other songs. <laughs> Uh, 
You see how fast these cuts are going. The reason for this is because he wants you to feel as chaotic and confused as you feel in moments like this. don't know how I don't know how you I don't know I don't even know what I'm trying to say I'm not gonna make it about for me that's for sure it sucks that that's his story that's what I'll say it sucks. You know, the silver lining is that, like, he got through it. And this is kind of the thought that I put out as the final thoughts of D-Day, which was... <sighs> we went through this incredible journey through D-Day. And at the very end, and life goes on, and snooze, he's saying, we're still here. We got through some dark stuff, but we're still here. Uh, and I think, you know, the, the, the silver lining to a video like Amygdala is that he's still here. And I tell you what also just sucks so much is that so many of us, too many of us, can relate to this in some way or have been affected by something like this. It's some, somebody, it just sucks. Oh, man, that was good. That was a good video.